Our Chaos Grand VJ is live visual performance software on both Mac and PC used for VJing or displaying video content for events and performances. In this tutorial, we'll go over the main features that will get you up and running right away. We'll be focusing on Mixer Mode, so let's start with that as a new blank template. Mixer Mode works like a standard video mixer with controls focused on blending visuals. This mode provides more control over our output using layers. This is the main interface in Mixer Mode. On the left we have a browser panel where you can access content, sources such as cameras and generators, effects and transitions. The browser preview lets you view your content, sources, effects and transitions beforehand. Make sure autoplay is enabled to view in real time. There is also a help tab on this panel that gives you a brief description of various interface elements by simply hovering over any part of the UI. Next is the parameter panel where you can access the properties of your layers and loaded content to change playback, effects, mixing and blending, along with size and position. Banks are located below our parameters, where we can store our visuals inside of these empty cells. Notice we have two sets of banks. This one is our matrix, and below it is our MIDI keyboard bank. We'll be focusing on using the matrix, but if you're curious, the MIDI keyboard bank works the same way as the matrix, but you can use a MIDI keyboard or controller to trigger visuals stored here. Before we talk about our panels on the right, let's jump in and load visuals into Grand VJ. First we'll change our matrix size by right clicking. We'll make it 5 columns and 4 rows. To load VJ loops or video files into Grand VJ, we can drag directly from folders in our OS of choice, Finder on the Mac, and File Explorer on Windows. Drag and drop a single file into any cell inside of a bank. Or you can drop multiple files and the matrix will fill up. This content is available on our website, docoptic.com, which we've encoded with the HAP codec. We highly recommend HAP encoded content because it's optimized for Grand VJ, utilizing advanced GPU and CPU processing to improve performance. The other way to load content is to use Grand VJ's built in file browser. Just click on the Files tab, drag and drop. Drop a folder into the matrix to fill it with all of your files. To replace a visual inside of any cell, just drop a new visual over it. To clear a cell, hold right click and select Clear Cell. To trigger a visual, first select a layer here in the Layers panel. Your selected layer will always be highlighted orange. Next, click on a cell. The selected visual will be displayed in the Master Preview panel. You can pause the playback of a layer by clicking the Play button. Press it again to resume playback. To clear a layer, click on the X button. The output in the Master Preview is what you're displaying out to your audience. The Master Preview toolbar is right under the Master Preview window. The left rotary next to the sunshine icon controls brightness. The right rotary next to the black and white circle controls contrast. Here's a quick tip. To reset any rotary, slider, or parameter, simply hold Alt or Option on the Mac and click. The default value will be restored. The three squares on the toolbar are all related to autoplay. By clicking on the autoplay button, all of the visuals in your current banks will play automatically to the current tempo or BPM. This tempo can be changed by tapping the BPM button along with music or a soundtrack. The Autoplay Settings button is where you can change how Autoplay works. With Audio Beat Detection, you can have Autoplay automatically find the BPM of an audio source in Grand VJ. Selecting Random will trigger a random visual in your current banks. Beat Divisor will make Autoplay trigger a visual on a specific beat of your choosing. And lastly, you can choose which layer you want autoplay to trigger visuals to. Click the autoplay button again to stop it. Now let's get into how layers work. Although we can select a layer and trigger a visual onto it, we can also assign a visual to a layer. Right click on any cell or click on the pen icon, which is the cell parameters button. The cell will be highlighted blue. The layer dropdown lets you choose which layer you'd like to trigger the visual to. We'll choose layer 10. Notice the layer number now displayed on the cell. You can also drag a cell directly into the layer preview just like this. 
To control the layer's visibility or transparency, use the slider on the layer. This can also be accessed in the mixing panel. Also in the mixing panel is copy mode, which affects how your visuals are blended with other layers. Try out different copy modes to blend layers in new ways. For content that contains alpha channels, such as these visuals from our shapeshifter set, make sure copy mode is set to replace so that your visuals are at full opacity and sit on top of layers below it. Visuals with alpha channels will show a gray checkerboard background on its cell or in the browser preview. Now let's talk about the A and B decks. You can assign multiple layers to either deck and transition between them. Let's bring the AB crossfader to A and trigger some new visuals. We'll assign two visuals to deck A and two to deck B. We can preview all of the combined layers of deck A and B by clicking on the A and B sections of the Master Preview window. Click on the highlighted section to view the master output again. Now with the AB crossfader, we can transition between these layers. This is a great way to isolate layers and create combinations to mix them all at once. To change the AB transition style, click on the AB properties button to bring up the transition panel. This is where you can select some cool transitions when you crossfade between layers or store presets with your favorite transitions. You can also drag and drop transitions directly from the browser panel. Click on Transitions and just drag one directly into the transition panel. Click and hold either the A or B buttons on the crossfader to perform an auto fade. When you release the button, it'll fade back to the opposite deck. You're able to change the duration of the auto fade in the transition panel. Another way to make your visuals interesting is with effects. To add an effect to a visual, click on the cell properties icon, the small pen, or right click on a cell. Notice how the parameters panel turns blue. This means we're editing the parameters of our cell, not the layer. Make sure the effect parameters are displayed. And now you can choose an effect in the menu here. Let's select RGB cycle and we'll trigger the visual. Notice how the colors are now changing. When using an effect on a cell, the effect will be displayed on that specific cell anytime it's triggered. So if we trigger a different visual, notice that the RGB cycle effect is no longer applied. This is because the layer inherits the effect of a triggered visual. So if our triggered visual has no effects on it, such as this one, the layer ends up inheriting no effects. To have an effect applied to all visuals triggered on a specific layer, we need to click on the Copy Effect Parameters button and select the layer we want our effects on. Notice the Effect Parameters panel is now orange to indicate we're working with layer effects. Simply choose an effect from the Effect Selector, or we can drag and drop directly from the browser panel. Our chosen effect will now be enabled no matter what visual is triggered. This works with both the mixing and position size panels. Just make sure to click either the mixing or position size icons to apply the parameters to the selected layer. In order to show our visuals to the world, we need to output our mixed visuals to a secondary display such as a projector or high definition monitor. Make sure that your secondary display is connected prior to launching Grand VJ or just restart the software. Click on the Grand VJ menu and select Preferences. Under the Display tab, you select the projector or monitor to display your visuals on by clicking on the Full Screen Monitor drop-down menu. Select the resolution you would like to output to, or if you need to change the resolution, click on the Use Custom Resolution checkbox and input the resolution you desire. When finished, click OK. To send your master output to your secondary display, simply click on the Toggle Full Screen button in the menu shortcuts, or you can do this from the View menu. We hope you found this tutorial helpful and that you're able to get started with our Chaos Grand VJ.
If you need some visuals, be sure to check out our website, DocOptic.com, for free and premium content, or to learn more about your favorite VJ software.